Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the X1029 Performance Studio. Standing on stage with me, the boys from 21 Pilots. Welcome back to Jacksonville, guys. Thank you so much for having us. If, go ahead. You could, you could thank us. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you. <laughs> if I could take you guys in the Wayback Machine, the last time you were in this city, you nearly broke both your legs and an arm by jumping off the sound tower for, uh, at Met Park for Big Ticket last year. It's true. And uh, here we are, 10, 11 months later. You're both still alive. This is good. I don't see any scars or... Stitches or anything like that. We're still alive for sure. Should I be holding my mic? I feel kind of like it's a, it's a little bit pre Madonna of him. Do you think his, he's got a little too big for his britches? At I this feel point? a lot better than you guys because I don't have to. <laughs> Do you feel worse than him? Because yeah, this well, I'm used to kind of like holding it for him. <laughs> if there's if there's no stand, I'll kind of kind of the like rule. Like, so the writer yeah. demand it's is really why he's good. allowed in the band. Yeah, uh, green M and M's and hold my mic, and then exactly. you're good for exactly. the night. <laughs> so 11 months later, you guys are gonna play a show here at Freebird. The last time you played a show that wasn't one of our festivals, I believe you guys were opening up for Walk the Moon and... Um, neon Trees. Neon Trees, right. Yes, yes. So if I could just put myself in the room for a second, I was standing there watching this opening band I'd never heard of until that day. Yeah. And me and about 50 kids are looking up on stage going, what is this? Yeah. With you at the piano and you at the drums and we're waiting for something to happen. And then lo and behold, you guys just exploded. And the whole room, you turn the whole room within a song. Well, it's funny. We think back to that, that night. A lot of these rooms that we're coming back to, we remember because we will have played them as an opening band, and we're like, oh, those stages are so small. But we, what I know we realized it at the time, but what we're realizing even more now is that as an opening band, first of three especially, you, don't, you get so little of the stage that as much as people are like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, a smaller stage or whatever, it, we're, we get into some of these places like, oh, my gosh, look how much room there is. <laughs> So we're, we're pretty pumped. Not and you guys, it. out of all the bands, kind of need the real estate on the stage with all the high-flying acrobats that you guys do. We well, can't, yeah. And you would think, like, with just two of us, like, oh, they're fine. They can play on anything. But then it is, like, you realize some of these, like, stages will, will take up as much room as, like, a full band mm -hmm. would. So We like to jump. <laughs> yeah, we like to jump. There was, uh, you guys are familiar with Watsky? Yeah, uh, YouTube sensation. I totally saw that. You saw this? All yeah. right. So I'm watching this video. Watsky does this uh, show out in, I think, Europe or somewhere. Yep. He climbs up a 35-foot light trestle yep. and jumps, falls on top of two fans, doesn't hurt himself, breaks a chick's arm, hurts another dude. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, you guys are definitely in for some lawsuits at some <laughs> you, point. You know what's funny is uh, my tour manager texted that, that link over to me the, the day that it happened. And Did he also text it along with your insurance forms? Yeah, or he didn't have to say anything else. He just sent me that video and kind of looked at me like, learn from that. Well, I remember when me and Tank were watching you guys for the first time, we both said it. It was like, man, you remind us of young Eddie Vedder. When oh, he's yeah. just dangling <laughs> yeah. from everything that you can dangle from. Yeah. But it really does add like a, a, another depth, another, de uh, uh, another dimension to the performance. You know, there's... There's the music, there's the lyrics, and then there's this performance art, this explosion of energy. Uh, do you guys feel it pumps you up as much as the crowd? I, I think for me, when it comes to performing, especially whether it's you know, on, at a local level or at a festival, you know, you're, you're surrounded by so many bands. And you have to get yourself to stand out. You've got to do something to get people's attention, especially if, if they don't know who you are. So we've always approached live music as... Not only do we want to show them the songs that we've written, but we also want to make sure that, you know, hopefully they remember us and come back and watch us again sometimes. Is there an element of competition sometimes with the two of you guys where maybe Tyler's doing something, you're like, well, now I have to outdo that a little bit? Or? <laughs> well, I think it, it's more so just like motivating each other to be more energetic. Because it, it is, you know, it's like if I'm playing and, I don't, uh, and I'm not feeling like as energetic then I see him like running around and, and I'm just like you know it gets me back into it so I don't know it's it's good at the same time I think like naturally both of us like it, it's hard to play it's hard to perform or even just do whatever it is that we're doing without having that much energy and I just and I realized that I, we had a day off yesterday and I, st I stopped in a guitar center I'm just like playing their electronic drums because it was a day off and I wanted to play <laughs> and I and I realized like after probably 30 or 40 minutes, how hard I was hitting their drums. And I was like, I should, I should leave before I break something. <laughs> Real life animal from the Muppets is standing oh. next to me. You, you're an animal on those drums. You really do beat the crap out of them. Uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you guys, because we got to see you so early in your developmental stages as a touring band, 
uh, like fresh out of, I guess it's Columbus is where you guys hail from, mm -hmm. like fresh out of that city. And now you guys have had a year under your belt where you've played some really big shows. I mean, the MTV nomination and all these big festivals across the sea and then back here in the States. What do you think is the difference between 21 Pilots in 2013 today versus the 21 Pilots the city maybe saw a year or a year and a half ago or however long ago? What a great question. Yeah. Man, Josh's hair is red now. It is red. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's red. That's probably the, one of the biggest differences. Um, yeah. Like, do you approach the stage differently? Do you, do you get ready for a performance? Or maybe it's the travel or, or the relationships you have with people who might have been stronger early on? I, what, what's different today than it was a year ago? I, say, I would say that almost every night that we get off stage, Josh and I have conversations about, what did you do new today? What is it that you learned today? We always have that conversation because truly we, wanna, we never want to get into a rut where we're doing the same thing every night. So we, we want to try to learn and push ourselves as performers. What did you do new today? What, it's an what overwhelming was challenge when you think it's of the really next 30 years to yeah, perform. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when, when, especially when you put it that way. But um, I think we have um, a better understanding of different audiences, different crowds, because every room is different. And the, and the only way to really know how to interact with different rooms is just is just going out there and having to interact with different rooms. So we, we have a feel for, you know, this type of crowd or this type of crowd or this type of room. And it, it goes all the way down to a science of, you know, how close are they standing next to each other? You know, if there's, if there's three inches in between shoulders, then you're, you're gonna, you can only get them to do so much. But when they're crammed together, all you have to do is get, get like 10% of the people involved and then those 10% are going to influence everyone else strictly because they're touching. Mm -hmm. So if I start moving, you're going to have to start moving. That was exciting. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> then it'll then be $7. <laughs> so what's changed for you? Anything. Like are you taking your craft maybe in a different light? Or are you thinking about this more like a career than maybe just a fun hobby? Or is it, is it all just the way it was when you started? I mean, it, it's not like it's been 15 years, you know. No, you're right. Yeah, no. But it's, experience, it, it's been a lot of experience. You oh, guys for have been sure. some pretty big things. Well, I think that's a, I think that's a great question. I, I think it's a great question that I think a lot of people, like if, if, I, if I'm looking at my favorite band, I would want to know also kind of what's changed and how's your mentality kind of like different than when it was when it started. And for me personally, uh, and so we also have the conversation where like, are you still enjoying this, or like, you know, how do you, you still love it? And and I think that you know, I can speak for both of us at, at least for now that we still love it. And and there's um there's nothing I'd rather do than kind of like be the playing, you know, behind that instrument and playing in a room full of people also to experience it with me. Um, and at the same time, but I think the other thing is that. Um, Starting out, we would kind of like. We, I think it's good to be very in tune and aware of what's going on in the room. But for me, lately, kind of just in this in this one, in this tour, I've kind of like also been um, playing a lot for myself in a way, which is like different than than an approach that we've taken in the beginning, which is to kind of like really be involved and aware of what's going on. And and I still am, but there's. There's times where I'm just like, I want to take this moment kind of like for myself, maybe even close my eyes and it's just me and it's, it's an interesting juxtaposition. Either you're giving it all to the crowd or you're challenging yourself to be bigger and better yeah. than the time before. It's a balance. Sure. Yeah. Well, if you've never seen these guys perform live and blow the roof off a venue, you're missing out. you got to go see it. If not today, then certainly a big ticket December 8th, Met Park, 21 Pilots. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, man.